What's going on guys? So uh, today I'm just unboxing another trade that I did. As you guys know, I'm always trading. I'm gonna be unboxing it with another knife that I got in trade. This is the Kershaw Launch, the 7200. All right, so we have a automatic Kershaw, which you usually don't see. Pretty cool, eventually I'll do a review on it. I'm playing with it around the house because that's all I can legally do here in Pennsylvania. Makes no sense, I'm not gonna go into a rant about that. You guys know how I feel about it. But uh, yeah, unfortunately can't carry this one where I currently reside. So, package that's right here is from uh, Cody in Colorado. And uh, I traded him a, a Buck and Bear fixed blade. It was like a medium sized fixed blade. I believe I did a review on that one. And he sent me this box of goodies. So let's get in here and open it up. Uh, feature this on your channel. I wish the best for you and your family. Thank you. Okay. Well, the back. The back has his address on it, which I already took off the box. Because I don't care about my address, but I definitely protect people who send me stuff, because I don't know how individual people feel about that. So anyway, it says, uh, hey Jeff, here is the stuff I had to trade you. Uh, I hope you like the picks I chose. The large blade is from the final Rambo movie. The stone sharpener is real from the Vietnam War. I also included a couple more blades that are pretty nice and a couple Zippos. I look forward to your uh, reply and hope you will, and that's where the back said, feature this on your channel. I wish you the best of luck for you and your family. So thank you, Cody, I appreciate that. I'm excited to uh, try some of the stuff out. Let's close this and put that back in my pocket for now. Let's see what we got going on here. So as you guys heard, some in definitely some interesting stuff going on. Carefully shimmy these things towards the front here. Yeah, all kinds of stuff, jeez. A lot of interesting things. He basically said he had a bunch of stuff that, you know, was cool, but he didn't know what to do with, and he wanted to do a trade. So hopefully he'll get a lot of use out of the, the knife that I'm going to be sending him. And it looks like I have, here's the manual for the computer, the box you used. Hopefully you don't need these manuals. You can let me know, I'll save them because I didn't ship the knife out yet. If you need them back, I'll, I'll send them to you. So first let's look at this knife, which I believe is that is a Rambo knife. From the last Rambo, this thing, I swear to God, this weighs 20 pounds. This thing is ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. I don't know why this stuff scratched out. Was that, I didn't see the last Rambo movie. Is that part of it? Or maybe... Maybe he did that because there was some information on there or something. I have no idea. All I can tell you is this thing needs to be sharpened. <laughs> it feels like a prop movie knife because it definitely needs to be sharpened. But this thing is so heavy. Let me move the camera up a little bit here. All right. Let's try to get that fully in view here. I can't express to you enough how heavy this is. I mean, this thing is almost a half inch thick. It's ridiculous. Maybe a little bit less than a half inch, but this thing, if I had to guess, I would say this definitely weighs more than my Beretta M9, <laughs> I'll tell you that. So yeah, there's that knife, which is very cool. Let's see, we got a shirt here, he sent it in. A small, that is not going to fit me. <laughs> That's okay. All right, um, yeah, let's open this. So you got next here. Feels like that sharpener, maybe. Yeah, so I'm gonna say it's probable. Cool old sharpening stone. I did a video a long time ago on some old sharpening stones. I got one at a uh, flea market. It is a Norton stone. Norton makes some of the best stones in the world. So uh, always interested in good sharpening stones. I couldn't tell you what grit these are. But it is double sided, I don't know if you can tell. There's two different grits there. So basically, it would probably be like a medium and a fine. This doesn't feel coarse or anything. So that's really cool. That'll definitely get use. Been using a lot more hand stones lately. Now the shirt, probably a small. 
Yep, a small. Every day I'm hustling. All right, what's next? <laughs> a bag of sort. Ooh, look at this. It's cool. I like the design on this. It's interesting. Huh. Pretty cool straight razor. Let's see. Handmade surgical steel crafted in China. China. It is sharp. I don't know. I don't know if this is one of those folders that you use. It's you know straight razor style. Um because I would definitely have to strop this up some to be able to use it for shaving, but you certainly could. That is uh it's pretty cool. I like that a lot actually. It's very unique. So what else we got in here? Man, he sent a lot of stuff. I'm gonna throw something else in into that dealio because he, he did send too much stuff but basically i remember him talking about the rambo knife and he said maybe a zipper or two or something he'll figure some stuff out but this is he's not a lot of stuff here so i wasn't planning on that but definitely gonna hook him up a little bit more that's an interesting knife this has a cord wrapped handle that is interesting there is no markings on this i kind of like it it's different huh how about that? Let me see. Up close, I do not see. Yeah, I don't see any markings. That's it's definitely unique. I don't think I've seen anything quite like that. I'll tell you, I kind of like this. I like this design down here. It's not the most effective uh, choil. You know, it'll be easy to sharpen that way. But yeah, pretty cool. I like it. We got a Zippo. This one has the Incredible Hulk on it. Burnt images. 2002 needs a flint feels like when your zippo wheel does not turn it I get all kinds of zippo questions too and I'll probably do more zippo videos in the future but when you go to turn your wheel and it does not move it's kind of stuck it's because the flint is probably gone and underneath the flint there's a little spacer piece and it does not scratch very easily so sometimes it feels like it's jammed but I can certainly diagnose that better later let's see what else I have here this was just a box I'm guessing yep Ah, cool. Oh, almost dropped it. We got a Red Bulldog, and I forget what beer company, but I am fairly certain that this was the logo for a beer company. I love this Zippo, and I will tell you, oh, it's not a Zippo brand. I'll tell you what, though, I'm still going to keep this forever. It's cool. I think it was literally called Red Dog, Red Dog Beer. Some of the older, older uh, viewers will probably remember that. I don't know if they still make that beer, but I remember growing up and seeing that. KGM, licensed products. Same deal, just needs a flint, even though this one is turning. Let's rub it on that spacer. Those are cool, I like those. And then I believe, yeah, I think this is the last thing. Commemorative presidential knife, Abraham Lincoln. It's like a little box, commemorative presidential knife, Abraham Lincoln. That's the box anyway, could be anything in here. Here's the knife. How about that, you got a little, little blurb on Lincoln. It's pretty cool something from what was that store in the mall it was something mint I used to love going to that store when I was a kid it's it's kind of funny because stuff like this really reminds me of my youth I remember going to the mall it's you know the names escape me I, I know you guys you remember what it is but it's something 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 mint or just something mint and they basically had stuff like this they had some cool commemorative knives um, usually you wouldn't use them they'd be in some kind of cool display case I remember they had like the gold edition Monopoly set and stuff like that. They're basically just showpiece things, but it was a very pinky up classy kind of place. And uh, I used to always go in there just to look at the knives. And this is definitely something they would have sold in there. That's pretty neat. I like that. Lincoln's an interesting dude. And it's not all about what we learn in, in school. There's a lot of stuff that Lincoln did that was definitely not taught in school. Let's open this blade up and put it back in its little whoop, this display box. It's tricky because it wants to close. There we go. Neat. And it says, well, I don't have to read that. You guys can read that yourself. But yeah, pretty interesting. So thank you, Cody. I appreciate that trade. Definitely some interesting stuff here. 
Um, yeah, you said a bunch of things. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna throw in, it was for Buck and Bear fixed blade, I'm just gonna toss in that Lynx. And I personally didn't like the Lynx, but maybe you can get some usage out of it. Uh, pretty interesting knife. So yeah, thank you so much. I appreciate it. A great deal. If you guys want to follow me on Instagram, it is Cutlery Lever Jeff. That's where I do all my trading stuff. If I'm selling something, I usually post it there. It just seems to be easier these days. I wish I could do uh, do more sale and trade stuff through YouTube, but the message system is very difficult to navigate. So I just really don't do that anymore. And I'm back just for a moment at the end here, just for people who are more curious about this knife, like I was. Did a real quick Google search, and thanks to Google and someone already posting this somewhere. I found this picture, and this is showing three different versions of this knife. The top one was the one used in the movie, and then there's two other versions that were sold after the fact. All right, and this was originally called the Hibben 4. If you're not familiar with Gil Hibben, he's a knife designer. There's a lot of stuff United Cutlery. If you've ever gotten a Bud K magazine before, you've seen Gil Hibben, his name everywhere. Um, but anyway, yeah, uh, apparently he designed the knife for the movie. So this was called the Hibben 4. You can see the middle one's United Cutlery. If I blow this up. Again, this is the, the middle knife. That said Hibben 4, which it also said in the sheath. That's where it would have been. So that was scratched off as well as on the bottom here. I'm assuming, I can't really make it out in this picture, but I'm assuming that said United Cutlery or something along those lines also scratched out. And on the reverse, I would imagine Made in China or something similar to that. Also not 20 pounds, even though it feels like 20 pounds, it's just under four pounds. But that is darn heavy for a... Uh, you know, fixed blade of this size. Um, this completely sharpened up, you know, might do some damage. There is, I mean, almost four pounds is, is incredible how much force that is. If you can have even a somewhat dull edge like this has, I mean, this does not have a very good edge on it right now, but I could probably still chop wood through it just because of the, the sheer force that's coming down with that weight. If I were to actually sharpen this up to a razor's edge, that would be a very scary knife. But yeah, that answers the questions. Um, there was no sheath with this, but if you do you know, have some interest in this knife, if you wanna buy this knife online, it's about 50 bucks for this version. And it does come with a nice little sheath that says Hibben 4 on it. But uh, yeah, pretty cool, pretty interesting. Uh, of course, now I gotta go find Rambo 4 somewhere online and watch it and hold my knife, you know, like a little kid. Because yes, I am a big, a big little kid. Although I'm sure most little kids aren't holding massive knives like this, watching movies. But this kid will definitely do that. So yeah, post in the comments if you saw Rambo 4 already, uh, which came out like years and years ago. I just never saw it. I remember when it was released. I remember seeing trailers for it, and I remember seeing this knife and just not having that much interest in watching the movie. When I was a kid, you know, a kid kid, like probably, I don't know, 10, 11, 12 years old, somewhere around there, I loved the Rambo movies. Of course, being, being a kid who likes knives, it's a, a no-brainer. Rambo, Crocodile Dundee, I mean, come on, these are classics. But uh, but yeah, I just never got around to watching part four. So before I go, this brings up the final question of, do you own a knife that was in a movie specifically because it was in that movie? I have to say, you can't see it, but my hand is definitely up. I am guilty of that. I probably owned dozens of different knives way back in the day because I saw in a movie, I had to have it. The number one knife of all time that I had to have because of a movie, and I no longer have it. It was a real crappy knife. The version I had was cheap. It was like a 20 or $30 version from Bud K from way back in the day, but it was a knife from Cobra. I was obsessed with it. It was my coolest knife in my collection. I will insert a picture right now. There you go. That's the knife from Cobra. When I was a kid, that was the coolest thing in the world. It was the scariest, craziest knife. I had to have one, and eventually I did. I got a cheap version of it. No idea what happened to it over the years, um, but maybe one day I'll get that again, just, just for the memory's sake. But yeah, having the spikes on the, the handle guard there and the cool looking blade, it was just, it was uh, definitely cool back in the day. <laughs> so uh, yeah, tell me down below if you're guilty of buying knives you saw in movies. So thanks for watching. Once again, I'm leaving for sure this time. Hope you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll see you soon. Take care.